Namaste to all learners. My name is Nikul Patel. Topic for the today's video is hydraulic and pneumatic symbols as per ISO or ANSI. ISO stands for the International Organization for Standardization and ANSI stands for American National Standards Institute. At first, we understand some basics of symbols. Symbols are used for presenting the hydraulic and pneumatic connection of element or in a simple language. We can say that symbols are used for graphical representation of hydraulic and pneumatic circuit connection. Every component of hydraulic and pneumatic circuit has individual graphical symbols. Manufacturer always provide manual along with machine or setup in which different symbols are mentioned with their specifications. Symbols are worldwide accepted which are published by the standard organizations. Pictorial symbols are extremely useful for showing the interconnection between the components. Symbols make system easy to understand for the operator as well as it makes maintenance task easy for maintenance personnel. I am sure your mind will generate one question and that is in exam if I draw a symbol from any textbook which does not follow the standards then how much marks I will get from the examiner. And the answer is simple Z E R O zero because university already mentioned the standards specifically in your syllabus. So use standard symbols only. Now start with today's topic. Hydraulic and pneumatic system components are categorized into several groups which are listed as follow. First in these groups is energy conversion. In this energy is converted from one form to another with the help of different elements. For example, pump and motor, they convert electrical energy into mechanical energy, which is transferred to the fluid in the form of kinetic energy. In actuator, fluids kinetic energy converts into mechanical energy and then convert into work which is required from the hydraulic or pneumatic system. After energy conversion, energy is transmitted to the various component with the help of hose pipe in hydraulic system and with the help of pipes in pneumatic system. There are two types of system works. One is inlet system in which energy is supplied for doing the work and another one is exhaust. In this energy is released. Third group is for control valves. These valves are used for controlling the direction of fluid, for controlling the pressure of fluid, for controlling the flow of fluid, etc. Fourth one is actuation. Actuation is used for controlling or providing signal to the different components of circuit and the actuation is done by manually, mechanically, electrically and by pressure of fluid. Last group in this is servicing. In this components like filter and intercooler for fluid in hydraulic system and Lubricator for pneumatic systems component are categorized. Now we will go through all symbols of different components one by one and learn how to draw it, what care we need to keep while designing the circuit diagram for hydraulic and pneumatic system. Symbols are used for removing the language barriers. Basic geometries like circle, rectangle, 
square and triangle used to create symbols for various components. Circle is used for drawing symbols for different type of pumps and motors. Arrow is used for showing the direction as well as for providing the information about variability of components capacity. Rectangle is used for drawing various direction control valves. Square is used for drawing pressure control valves. For showing path, different type of lines are used. For example, solid lines, dash line, dot line, etc. Fluid pipe connection are represented by lines in circuit design. Triangle is used for drawing pumps and motor along with circles. Dark triangle is used for hydraulic system and blank triangle is used for pneumatic system. Dot is used for showing junction connection with lines where two or more fluid pipe are met with each other. By using these basic symbols together or individual, we can graphically draw a meaningful symbol for any component. Let's start with the first category of different group and that is energy conversion. As I told you earlier, in this energy is converted from one form to another. First symbol in this group is for pump. By using electrical energy, pump pressurize the fluid and transfer it from oil reservoir or oil tank to the different component of the circuit. First, we need to draw one circle. Then, add two lines at top and bottom of the circle vertically as shown in the figure. This line shows the path of the fluid flow. Bottom line connect with the oil tank and top line connect with the other components. After this, add dark triangle in such a way that the apex of triangle touches the junction point of top line and circle. Draw two straight line at the right side of the circle which represent the shaft which is connected with the motor. This symbol represents unidirectional fixed displacement hydraulic pump. If you draw another dark triangle just on the opposite side of the previous one, then it became the symbol for bidirectional fixed displacement hydraulic pump. For converting symbol from fixed displacement to variable displacement pump, we need to draw an arrow with inclination of approximately 45 degree and passes through the circle just as shown in this figure. This symbol is for unidirectional variable displacement hydraulic pump. Similarly, if we want to make bidirectional fixed displacement pump to bidirectional variable displacement pump, then draw an arrow same way as it was described for previous symbol. Another component of circuit design from the same group is motor. Motor provides power to the pump for functioning. Symbol of motor is simple and similar to pump symbol. Draw a circle, plot two lines at the top of the circle and bottom of the circle vertically. Then draw two more lines at the right side of the circle horizontally. The difference between the motor symbol and pump symbol is only one, the orientation of triangle. Here we must draw inverted dark triangle for hydraulic system as shown in the image. Sometimes designer use capital alphabet M 
instead of triangle for motor symbol for drawing symbol for bidirectional fixed displacement motor we need to draw one another dark triangle in the opposite side of the fluid path line same way as in variable pumps we need to draw inclined arrow from the middle of the circle for drawing symbol for unidirectional variable displacement hydraulic motor and for bidirectional variable displacement hydraulic motor till now we learn about components which gives motion or increase the pressure of fluid now we learn about symbols which uses the pressurized fluid to generate desired power or to do work this component is known as actuator in general actuator is one kind of cylinder which converts fluid power into linear mechanical force or motion for drawing actuator we need to draw a cylinder without its thickness in two dimensional drawing this is the confusing thing but i will simplify this for all of you first draw one rectangle then place one line near to one vertical edge as shown in the figure this small line shows from where the pressurized fluid enters into the cylinder bore after completing the outer wall now it's time for drawing the piston inside the cylinder draw t shape lines just as shown in this image if you find any difficulty in this then you can draw single lines in the shape of t just as shown in this picture this symbol is used for showing the single acting actuator now look at the other types of actuator and learn how to draw them if we fix a spring onto the road of piston which touches the bottom of the piston and bottom dead center of the cylinder then this symbol represent the single acting actuator with spring if we draw one small vertical line near to top dead center and one small vertical line near to bottom dead center then it will become symbol for the double acting actuator with single road if we want action to be performed during the inlet of fluid and outlet of fluid then we need to use two road piston or through road piston and for representing this as a symbol then draw it just like in this image there are chances of impact of pistons upper and lower surface with the top and bottom dead centers of the cylinder this impact will make noise and vibration for avoiding this cushioning is provided on the top of the surface of piston or on the bottom of the surface of piston or on the both side of the piston now let's see how we can draw new symbol of actuator with cushioning it is simple just draw one small rectangle on the top surface of the piston just as shown in this image this symbol is same as double acting actuator except small rectangle on the piston surface this symbol represent double acting actuator with cushioning at one end for making cushioning adjustable just draw an arrow in the cushioning geometry just like in this image this symbol represents double acting actuator with adjustable cushioning at one end if we want to provide cushioning on the both side of the piston then draw small rectangles on the both side this symbol represents double acting actuator with cushioning at both end 
for making symbol for adjustable cushioning draw an arrow just as shown in the figure this symbol represents double acting actuator with adjustable cushioning at both end now i stop this topic in this video and cover the remaining symbols in next parts stay tuned for the next part and for the remaining syllabus thank you